Oh, okay, the way you're holding it just makes me look very short. You, like, do below, like, yeah, okay. okay. So this makes me look... Oh, wow, this makes me look center! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This cool, way behind. Will it tapau? Hey guys, welcome back to Will It Tapau. This is our third episode. Yes. Um, uh, let us know before we carry on. Let us know how we have been doing for the first two episodes. Yeah. Um, we are now in the Skoda Scala. You can uh, see the review here. It's gonna be done by Idris. Yep. Uh, what are we doing today again? Where are we going? Marine Parade Food Center. Ah, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I say Marine Parade Hawker Center. Oh, I'm really bad with directions. Eh? I'm just really bad. Marine with Parade directions. Central Market and okay. Food Center. Okay. Yeah. So we are going there now. Um, we've read a lot about certain foods that are there. Um, delicious foods, of course, from very credible uh, YouTube uh, channels and sources and. And just incidentally, the yeah. three places we're eating at, I've eaten it before. Oh really? Yeah, I live oh, around okay. the area. Oh, I've, I've, I've Used not, to. I've, I've, not, I've, not, I've not had that. I've not, yeah, so I, might, I have my thoughts on them actually, even before you tap all them. Mm-hmm. But I'll share with you later. <laughs> yeah. We'll find out if they can actually survive the tapau journey. Yes. Yep. So we are almost reaching. Uh, we're yes. heading into the multi-story car park just behind. Uh, it's known to be quite a cramped car park actually. So we want yes. to see if the Skoda Scala can actually survive the car park. More importantly, <laughs> I think there shouldn't be any difficulty parking because there are several car parks around this market. So you should, we shouldn't. But it's always packed, no? It's, I thought it's always like full and it's always like a headache trying to find a park. The ramp here is super narrow. Uh, so you're gonna make a wide turn, but if you are looking for shelter parking, this would be your only bet. All right, doing a reverse park now. If the auntie would go away with a trolley, that would be a star. But I'm just gonna go in first before I block somebody. Okay, so we're in a multi-story car park. We just parked uh, the Skoda Scala. Um, it's easy to park. There are quite a lot of blocks. Actually. Yeah, you're so skeptical, but yeah, it, it's it's, it's about it's about twelve fifteen now. Yeah, it's lunchtime. Lunchtime. Uh, we've got a number of lots to choose from. We managed to get one solid lot, VIP one kind of style yeah. on the first floor, which is something I don't even get at my place. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> yeah. on to the food. Yeah. Easy to park. Okay, so we are at the Marine Parade Market Food Centre. Um, it's quite a lot of people behind. Uh, it's yeah. lunchtime now. Uh, it's a bit of delay here and there. Yeah. yeah as you can see, as you can see, John has got problems because of our height difference, so he's a bit yeah. slanted. It makes me look very short. But anyway, yes. Uh, what food are you gonna get again? I'm gonna go here. You see the queue going, coming out here? It's a Sing Long Lao Chai Book Store. Right here. Oh, right oh, here. Right here. Such a loser. Okay, right let's go. Here. Here. Let me do it. Yeah. Okay. Eww, 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 eww. okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get uh, Apollo Chai Kway Tiao and Tip. Top Western food. Yep. Okay, In a bit. Fine. Ciao. So I am walking towards Apollo Char Kway Tiao right now. Um, I want to buy that. There's a lot of hype around about that food. So, oh no, that's a bit of a problem because there you go, Apollo Fresh Cockle Fried Kway Tiao is closely. Wow, Sien. Uh, okay, now man, I guess we'll have to find something else. Since Apollo is closed, I will try going to the duck rice to see. But I think it's another bad news because the duck rice is also closed today. Well, what's going on, man? I, I, I think it's a, it's a Tuesday thing, I'm not too sure. But we're going to find another few other stalls to try this one instead. There you go, Neptune Hong Kong Dim Sum. Let's check it out. Okay, you give me one chi chong fan, one xiao long pao, one cha sao pao. And let's see. Uh, Maybe you give me one siu mai ba. Okay. Oh, tapao. Eh. Okay. Thank you. So I gotta wait five minutes for the Neptune uh, dim sum to be ready. Once I suppose while waiting for that, what I'll do is I'll head on uh, to Kuching Kolomi, and I'm gonna find out if that is any good as well. Ah, yao la, Okay, so I ordered the original Kolomi, which is this one, number two. This one, yes. So, auntie is working alone, um, but there's no queue, so that's always a good thing.
So I'm right in front of Sing Long Cook Food. It's a Zhao Cai Feng stall. I've had it a few times and as you can see, there's quite a queue. There's also people behind me now and it's testament to how popular this place is. Uh. So, uh, bao de. 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 Bao Electric yeah, it's damn rare. It's really, very rare in this class. It's really not bad. Okay, so the hooks. Oh, there are two hooks. Yeah, and the hooks look quite yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Better than the GLC. This yep. one can hook many, many things. Many, many things. Lovely. Excellent. How uh, was it? How was your tapao? It was a bit of a nightmare. It's like, it's like, it's like really nightmare. Okay. I went to Apollo, which was initially the plan. Yeah. It's closed. I uh, went to try the duck rice, it was closed. I went to Tip Top, it was also closed. So I ended up with the, uh, what do you call it, the Tim Sum. Mm -hmm. uh, which was just beside the duck rice and I didn't realise it. I thought the Tim Sum was somewhere else and I walked away okay. and I came back realising that it was there. Because the problem with uh, Neptune Neptune Tim Sum is that the signboard isn't in front, it's at the side. Oh, so I didn't yeah, see yeah. it. Uh, so that's a the problem. Then uh, the other one was uh, Kuching uh, Kolomi. Um, I expected a queue. I actually saw a queue, but it wasn't the Kolomi queue. I'm not too sure if it's because the food is bad. I don't think it sucks, but... We will find out later. Yeah, we'll find out later, so yeah. But well, how, how about yours? Uh, yours was a long queue, right? Yeah, the Zhaphai Beng store will always have a long queue because... It's, it's ridiculous, It's right? an establishment in But, itself, but, but right? it's Zhaphai Beng! It, right? it has it's just consistently Zhaphai. very good Zhaphai Beng. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why after so many years, there's always a long queue there. But we won't spoil anything. We would see whether it tapaos well. Okay, so we are on the way back to the office. Uh, estimated time back, I would say, is about 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, plus traffic. So yeah, we'll see how it goes later on. All right, see you. Till then. Okay, so we're back in the office. Yes. Um, it took about 15 minutes for us to get back here. Our office is in Ubi. We went to Marine Parade again. Uh, so we went, this one, uh, I got it from Neptune Dim Sum. Um, cost $20, this entire thing. I have uh, Chi Chong Fan, Siu Mai, uh, Xiao Long Pao, and Cha Sao Pao. Uh, this whole thing cost me $15, actually. It was $15. You just said $20. Yeah, no, no, sorry. It cost me $15. $15. All right, I'll be um, surprised if it's $20. Yeah, no, it cost me $15. No, the lady was very friendly. It took about five minutes for this to get ready, so it was quite cool. Uh, while waiting for this to get ready, within that five minutes, I went to Kuching um, Kolomi dot laksa uh, and, and got, got this. this for $5. It was actually four fifty, but I added noodles which was additional 50 cents. So that yes, and while he was doing bucks. all of that, I was queuing up for Sing Long Economical Food. And as you can see, I didn't get rice because I don't think we'll be having rice. So yeah. I just got a lot of ingredients. Yep. But let's just shut up and start eating. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the... Okay, let's have sauce of us. All right. Let's do Neptune, Neptune Tim Sum. What is that? Can't oh. twist like Neptune Tim Sum. Oh, serving chopsticks. Uh, hygiene. Mm. Yep. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm, I must say that the... It, it kind of got stale, I think. It just felt... It feels a lot harder. Mm, mm. It, yeah. It's harder for sure. But... The still tastes quite good, eh? Yes, I would say the bun is actually pretty fluffy. And you know when you eat Cha Sao Pao, sometimes the filling can be very sweet and that kind of throws off the entire balance. I think this is still okay. It's slightly sweet. I've had some Cha Sao Pao that is not as sweet as this, but it's because of the, of the bun that's a bit hard. Yeah. So it sort of still manages to maintain that balance. Oh, for me, I think it's not worth Cha I, I mean, it would taste really good there, but it just didn't survive the tapao journey well. It's tough and the meat, it's nothing to shout about, you know, usually cha siu pao, cha sao pao, you will want fatty meat inside. Oh really? For the extra juiciness. No, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want the fatty part, but honestly, it wouldn't be a tapao for me also for this because this is, is just too hard. Alright, next, xiao long pao. Alright, okay, so then. this is um, also from Neptune. Xiao Long Pao. Um, just these three 
will cost you three dollars and eighty cents. But I just had to try it okay. because. Oh, you got it out so easily. I'm yeah, very afraid of breaking it. I think Steel. I broke it. Like the tasa bao, the skin, especially the top part right here. If you guys can see, this top part right here is actually very hard for mine. Is yeah. it the same for yours? Yeah, it's quite. It's very chewy. Yeah, it's actually quite hard and chewy, um, but it's very flavorful nonetheless. Unfortunately, it's also a no tapao for me. It will not. I will not tapao this oh. because, um, well, the skin really throws me off, man. I would tapao it. Off. I would tapao it because the flavor is actually excellent. I love how they season the meat inside. Mm. Um, flavorful and juicy because it's a xiaolong bao, and it's just an explosion of flavors. Even though the skin is tough from the tapao journey, um. but. On balance, this is a dish that you have to eat there. But if you yes. had no choice but to tapa or xiao long pao, I think this works great. Uh, it's, it's not for me. I, I, I will not tapa this. The skin really threw me off. I wasn't expecting it to be that hard. Um, but yeah. It, but I have to agree, it's very flavorful. Um, but no, I won't tapa that. Okay, so we have chi chong fan and siu mai. Uh, I'm just gonna have this myself. Yes. Because John. Is, or die. Yeah, he's allergic to prawns, which is exactly why I purposely bought prawns because I thought he wouldn't know. I just want to poison him. <laughs> but yes. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, siu mai. It's a bit salty. It's actually saltier than regular siu mai that I've had. Oh, okay. Like the rest of them, it's just hard. Like you look at this. <sighs> okay. All this is actually quite hard already for some reason, um, but it is very tasty. Uh, for the siu mai, I will not tap out, but I'm pretty sure you, uh, when you have it there, it's gonna taste very very good. And I believe it won't be as salty as when you tap out because when you when it's cold, when it cools down, you can actually taste. Um, it's like as if all the remnants of salt just started coming out. Oh, it sort of feels that way. All right. Yeah. So no, but if you have it there when it's hot, it will be less salty for sure. Okay, so for the chi chong fan, the auntie gave uh, another sauce. Probably light soy sauce. Probably, probably. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in case it gets too salty. Again, John is not eating this because he's allergic to prawn. You can have a choice of pork or prawn. Yeah, you chose prawn. Because I wanted you to get allergy reaction. Good. <laughs> hmm. Which part of it is amazing? The, the whole thing. The whole thing. Now, if you were to eat the skin, Right, without the sauce, it's gonna be crazy bland. But with the sauce, it tastes very nice. Like you can just eat it on its own like this right now. You can even taste a bit of the flour. But together with the prawn, there has got this springy feel to it. It almost feels like it's fake prawn, but it's not. You can actually taste that it's quite fresh. Okay. Um, eat it together as a whole. Well, it's amazing, man. Because you know some chi chong fan, the skin can be too thick, and it can just it will taste very rubbery, uh, especially when you tap out. But for this, not at all, man. Why don't we help our viewers okay. uh, conclude whether this thing will tap out or eat that better? Okay. okay do you have a... this, this exact four dishes? Uh, overall, general, general, based okay. on these four dishes. Okay, okay. So, so in case you are wondering again, it's cha sao pao, siu mai, xiao long pao, and qi chong fan. Here we have. Okay. okay. You ready? Okay, three, two, one. Eat will that tap better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll I will eat that better. I will tap out because this is great. Um, it, it, although it got stale really quickly, uh, to kind of hack things, if you have a steamer, pop it into a steamer, I think it will kind of... Soften things yeah, up so a little soften bit. Soften things yeah. up. Uh, same like for how, the cha siu bao. I like I how you do this, it will soften things up. Yeah, yes. same for the cha siu bao. I think if you steam it... <clears throat> yeah. I'm surprised you said you eat that better because you, you really enjoyed this. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this, but I think you should just eat there. You should just really enjoy it well. It's not salty, not hard, not too hard and sticky and... All so right, just there. Yeah, the kind of feeling. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Next, we have the kolomi from Kuching. Okay. Kuching kolomi dot laksa. Okay. Visually, it, it I feel like it didn't really survive the the sort of dried up tremendously. Tapao journey well, and okay, but... it feels like the 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 sauce didn't get mixed up. Like, mm. kind of feels like there's going to be a lot of flavorless. Oh. oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I don't even really know nice why I'm doing it. Yeah, that's you. very nice of you. Uh, wow. Okay, but credit where it's due. 
the auntie, who was also very friendly at the store, wow, she did a work of art packing this thing, man. Right? I saw a pack, you can see, it, like, I was videoing it, right, just now, and, and she really did the chick, 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 tie everything, like, it's just very nicely done. If given to me, I think it would just be a mess. It is how it looks. It's quite dry. Mm, the flavour, I can taste a lot of scallion oil. Overall, I think it's a very average pack of polo meat. Might be because it was stuffed out. Um, good thing is the, I think the noodles were cooked just right and it survived the tapau journey barely because it's not, it's not soggy. Not as soggy as you would think it is, uh, but I, I don't find it enjoyable. I genuinely love this. But yes, I think you're right. It has dried up significantly. But the onion, the oil, um, the char siu, pieces meat. of pork mince meat and all of it's, it's I can't call myself a kolo mee specialist, but everywhere I go, at coffee shops and hawker centre, when I see kolo mee, I will naturally want to buy it. Oh. I always want to try kolo mee. Um, this is not the best that I've had, but for a tapau, for a tapau is really up there to me. Okay, okay. Tapau is really up there. It's very flavorful and it just goes very well. The taste is not overpowering. You know there are some that just overdo it with the garlic and the onion, especially the fried onions and all the kind of stuff, but not this one. Uh, yes, it has dried up, but it's not. it hasn't become tokuki yet. Yeah, I must say the, the noodle texture is, is, is surprisingly good for something that was inside a packet for about half an hour. But I feel that there might not be enough seasoning because I got a clump that was without flavour and we actually opened it up as, as soon as we arrived in the office and we mixed it up. We didn't mix it up yeah, well but, enough but, for But me. the power of kolomi is the texture of the noodle and I think this definitely aced it. Okay, okay. So, for a verdict in 3, 2, 1. We'll tap off. Eat there better. Jeng, jeng, jeng. Um, this is the longest queue ever John did it. To me, it's just a regular tap type of stall. Yes. Uh, I've never had it before in my life. It's um, been around for a very long time and every time I go there, the queue is long. Like when I go there and I look at the queue, I wouldn't want to bother. I wouldn't even bother queuing up because it's just, it's really, really long. Uh, okay. But it moves quite quickly, right? Uh, relatively quickly. Oh, okay. So the must have is the ota. Okay, thank you. Let's have the ota. Uh, and then the wu xiang, the no xiang. Okay. And my personal favorite, the burgadil. Oh, okay. Wait, what else, what else is there? That, there's also, uh, they call it xue yu, which is supposed to be caught fish, but this, this I, is I, don't, I don't believe it's caught fish. It might just be sushi, but yeah, but we can try that later. Let's okay. let's try the. I'm going for the ota first. Yeah, let's go for the ota first. It's very creamy. A little bit. It's very lemak. Wow, I, I like it. I like it. The spice you can actually you can actually taste it. It's starting to bite my tongue, um, and it gives you that whole. It kind of wakes you up a little bit, not to the point where you have runny nose and start sweating and stuff, but. It's very pleasant. I really like just how creamy it really is. And sometimes, you know, when ota is cold and you hit a piece of hard meat, you kind of get a bit paranoid that you might be eating something raw for some reason. But this, you don't have that feeling. Mm. It feels very well flavoured, well seasoned. So when you cut open, you can see it's actually still juicy. Like you can actually still see a bit of juice around it. So it's not dried up at all. Yeah. So I would say, if I were going to Marine Parade Food Centre to eat something else, I would just go to this store to just order one piece of ota to just add. add yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it is that good. This, by the way, with all the food, um, cost us ten dollars. But but to be fair, it's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, it's a lot lah. It's a lot. We we kind of bought. Are like you trying the ngoh now? Yeah, I'm trying it. This one, I'm not so sure if it survived the tapau journey well because you're supposed. Why well, it looks crispy? You're supposed yeah. to have crispy skin, but. It's already soggy and oily. Mm. I don't hate it, but this clearly would taste much better. Um, okay, something about it, wow. But for some reason, I don't know if it's mixed around with something else, but this just feels overly oily. Oh. Or is it just me? Or is it something that I that mixed around with something, but it just tastes overly oily? Like, like when I eat and I breathe in through my mouth, I can feel like a layer of oil is just stuck there. I can't what? really feel the air. It's it's actually oily. I would say it's oily. I mean, even mine, mine is glistening. Okay, not for you? Not for me. Not for, for me, it's okay, but it's something that you definitely have to eat there fresh and crispy. Okay, the burger deal. My personal favourite. As you can tell, I really like it. I'm just going to continue eating it. Not for you? It's not for me and I don't know why. I like burger as well. 
but it is just not for me. Okay, I will say the the crust outside. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit tough. No, oh, it's just mine is soggy. Yeah, la, soggy, so it's really hard to chew through and it's not as enjoyable as it would have been there. Well, it's, it's just crazy soggy and I'm not too sure because we have a lot of food here. We've still got fish, still got pork, um, still got binket skin. I don't know if all this, when you mash it together with no rice to absorb all the oil and the juice um, and the moist, is it causing it to be like this? So I'm not too sure if you're giving it justice. Mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely not for me because it's far too wet. Yeah, I'll just give you okay, that. So there's fish, there's, thank you, there's pork. Um, and yeah. then you bought binker skin as well. Yes. Is binker skin okay? Because it looked it look very good on, on the display. Okay. So. Okay, I'm just going to go for the fish first. And it's a no for me because it's soggy and there's yeah. this metallic aftertaste mm. that you usually get from white fish. Yeah, but no, I, I can't. I, the fish is not for me. Alright, next up, the pork. pork. I'm just going to go for Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to go for thing. the whole pizza, yeah. It feels like I've got more meat than fats, which is, I'm sure some of you would prefer. Uh, although I like more fat than meat, but the meat is very hard. Is that oh, tough? Mm -hmm. I got yeah, a, it's okay. I think it depends on the piece that you get. I got a tough one. What I can say is that it tastes really good for a sub for store lava. To me, the texture of the meat was not the best. Mm. But for for, for sub for store it's actually very really? good. Yeah, and the, you can see this is actually one serving. So there were you had one piece and one piece and then there's five dollars like five pieces. Yeah. And that will definitely fill it up. I got a hard one, so I, I, I didn't enjoy it. I got oh. a hard one. It's actually, it's, it was actually quite tough. It feels like, you know, the end of a bark one, the edge. Oh, wow. Where it's burnt, you eat that. It's like that kind of Oh, that, that is tough. Eh. Yeah. Okay, oh, tauki. Uh, yep. Well, I'm okay with it. Like, it's quite straightforward. I don't think you can go very wrong with tauki. Eh. You don't usually get, I mean... Uh, but to be fair, when I ordered Tsai Peng, I usually don't include tauki. Okay. I usually give this a miss because I feel like it's a waste of food. Like okay. I can choose something else that's more filling. So I don't usually go for tauki, but this is okay. I'm okay with this yeah. tauki. It was it's light, even though you we tap out it and it was kept in this hot box for maybe twenty minutes. It didn't feel like as if the steaming it for an additional twenty minutes changed its texture. It was actually. I wouldn't say crispy, but it's slightly crunchy still. Yep. Okay, so verdict. Okay. okay. In three, two, one. Eat that better. Yeah, eat that better. Eat that yeah, better. even though I really like it, I always eat, 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 eat it there. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with this. Mm. It gave me a lot of hype because the queue was so long, it was the longest queue. No, but to be fair, the queue moved quickly. Yeah, I mean, it's upside, but all you have to do is just, uh, yeah. duh, 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 right? But then, it's, yeah. Boy, wow, this is, I, I think I had high expectations because of the queue. Oh. I looked at the queue and I just said, wow, this must be like worthwhile. Yeah, I, I think it's a bit unfortunate because Tsao Tsai Peng is something that you usually tapao back, yeah. back to office to eat. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. But exactly. to be fair, if you are there to tapao, you're probably working in an area and maybe your tapao journey is only five, five minutes. minutes. <laughs> yeah, this is not a, yeah. a home delivery type of tapao meal, yeah. definitely. But if yeah. your tapao journey is less than 10 minutes, I think it's okay. Otherwise, anything longer, eat the better. Yeah. So that's it for episode 3 of Will It Tapao. Please look at the links below. That's where we'll tell you details of all the stalls that we've been to. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Yep. And let us know in the comments below whether you agree with us on these dishes or any recommendations that you all have yep. for us. Uh, please don't forget to watch our car reviews as well. Yes, we still do car reviews. <laughs> hey, uh, and we are also doing TikTok. So we've got our TikTok account below. Yes. Yeah. Please follow our TikTok. Yeah. We are trying to be... Gen Z. Gen Z. I'm trying to feel young. I'm trying to be on par with my kids next time as they grow up. I can introduce to them and let yeah. them know how funky their father yeah. really you is. You know what throw hands is? Though? Yeah, I'll throw hands, man. I'm, I'm a throw hands, man. Okay. Throw hands. Tiu so, ah. Tiu so, yeah. Pew! <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. In the meantime, stay safe, be well. Ciao!